welcome to Liam's party. Uh, we're having a nonsensical, foolhardy party, and uh, the theme is, I guess, Rome and Greek gods. So first, when people arrive, they're going to pick the god of their choice. We have an, one god for each boy and girl that's coming, and we've given their uh, name tags so that they can wear them. Um, and they'll find out the meaning of their chosen god as the party goes on. After the uh, guests have had their swim, their Roman bath, uh, on this wonderfully warm 13 degree chilly windy day, they're going to come in and they're going to have their dinner. And uh, we're having a mixed up dinner uh, and we're calling it the nonsensical nourishment. And uh, they get to pick from the items listed for course one, course two, and course three. And uh, they have no idea what these items are. They could be food, they could be utensils. Um, and they choose each item only once in the three courses. And uh, when course one arrives, they get what they selected. Uh, and it could be any of the 15 items listed. They could end up having their dessert first uh, they could end up having absolutely no utensils, or only utensils. And then, once they have received their first course, uh, we're doing a food matching contest, where they get to guess which item goes with which name. So, if we called something round moo and they received pizza and they put the two of them together and they were right and they would get a point. Sounds like fun. It's gonna be crazy. They might end up with spaghetti and a straw and that's it. If we were sp serving spaghetti. Ah, right. So part of Liam's party is to have a movie in the home theater and uh, just finished it so this will be the first party we've ever had here and uh, earlier in the party they selected their god that they wanted to be for the evening and that determined where they sat at the dining room table it also determines where they sit at the beginning of the movie uh, in the arms of the chairs they will find their god's name and that's where they get to sit for 15 minutes and then we're gonna come in with a whistle, and uh, when the whistle blows, the lights will go on, and they'll have to open up the bottom of their chair. And they'll have to look on the side, and they'll see another name. This one is Aries. And Aries sits here in this chair. So, for the second 15 minutes of the movie, that god will get to sit in Aries' chair. Maybe you could explain those chairs. So these are the primo chairs, obviously. Uh, everybody gets their own individual seat, front row. The back row here, we have a love seat where uh, Aries and Poseidon. Maybe it won't be love, maybe it'll be war, because it's two male gods. Um, but the ones that draw the short straw get to sit in these chairs. So we've put the girls here because one of the girls is not going to be here for the movie. And we thought, well, the beginning of the movie, she'll just, you know, one of the girls will get one of the seats and the other one will be empty. And uh, we'll look at this one over here. This, uh, both of them have names on the bottom of them. So after. Oh, sorry, Athena will get to sit here for the first 15 minutes. And then after that 15 minutes, she will get to sit um, in Hermes chair. And whoever comes to sit in Athena's chair gets the chair of opportunity. The chair of opportunity is so that we don't have both of these crappy chairs used when we only need to use one of them. So whoever comes here to the chair of opportunity 
We'll get to look around once everybody's figured out their seating and whatever chair is available, they can pick. Or if they really want to sit there, they can sit here. But I'm thinking they're going to go for the cushy chair. I know I would. God knows I would. Which God though? I don't know. It's so tricky. And then the third round is random. They just yes. pull names out of a hat. So we put their names in, not a hat, a popcorn box. Because it's movie night. Yes, and then whatever one they get, that's where they get to sit for the remainder of the movie. Nice. And we're gonna use these for another game. Okay. All right, so another game that we're gonna play tonight, which is not really anything related to Greek or Roman mythology, uh, is a candy hunt. And uh, it's going to be in the dark. So we're going to turn off all the lights. And uh, we don't have the little flashlights here, but they have little finger flashlights that we're going to be able to use to go in and search for candy bars that are just going to be strewn everywhere. Oh, who's here? Somebody for the party. Oh, it's Cookie. Oh. You're early. <laughs> uh, so they're going to wait at the door, and it's going to be boys against girls. And only one member of each team can go in at a time. And they go and they find a chocolate bar and they only can bring one at a time and they bring it back, put it in their girls or boys popcorn box. And uh, at the end of 15 minutes, the game will, uh, the winner will be decided by who has the most chocolate bars. Sweet. Yeah. Literally. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the dogs won't find them before the kids. Click one of these videos for more great Burt Bunch TV. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> you made it onto my nice list. As you can see, this board is huge. It has three entrances.